Hello everybody, my name is Champinator9000. It might be late, but I don't care. Welcome to the Oklahoma City Thunder franchise. In this episode, the Thunder will play host to the Sacramento Kings. And, uh, this should be a good game. We played the Kings once before in this series, and I believe the Thunder came out on top in this one, but I'm not completely sure. 29 and 37 are the Kings. Willie Collie Stein can't win the jump for them, and Adams, he hits it over to Westbrook, who puts up the layup, and that is the way the Thunder will get this one rolling. Alright, let's do this. Try and push him back court, Rust. Thunder are actually playing live right now against the Heat, but I'm unable to, but I'm unable to watch that game. Because I don't have OKC TV. Because I don't live in OKC. Okay, that's Steven. Oh, that's not Steven Adams. Uh oh. No. Alright, Willie Colley Stein. It's a hit away. Out on Paul George. I don't know where Steven Adams was on that play, though, because I kind of wanted him down in the paint. So he could help try and block Willie Colley Stein. Um, yeah. Okay. I was gonna say, if they made that, that'd be a crazy shot. Nope. Step back from Paul George. Are you kidding me? You can't hit a wide open three? Oh, I'm so excited that... No, what's today? Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. I know it's technically out if you pre-ordered it, but... On Tuesday, the 27th, and it'll be 18. The show will, will come out if you haven't pre ordered it. So, I'm going to get it on Tuesday. That's hit away by Mello. And right now, the Thunder, they're just on a bit of a roll. Westbrook dunking over two people, and it's a 7 0 lead. In the last game, they did manage to get themselves an 8 0 lead, but then they did drop it. They still ended up winning that game by 31. And, once again, the Kings can't score. Yeah, give that to Steven Adams. Let him just drive in. Mm, there we go. A swish from Steven Adams. 9-0 run, and the Kings have to call timeout. So far... Things are going pretty well for the Thunder. And, well, 9-0 run. Can they keep it going? Yes, they, the Kings do need to get their offense started. Oh, Westbrook stuffs him. And Paul George going to drive. Oh, I wanted to give that to Steven Adams. But Melo will work, too. It's 11 nothing. The N1... <laughs> Oh no. No, oh, things are not going well for the Kings. And the uh, N1 is good. Paul George, he's going to play defense on this guy. Why is he so much shorter than Paul George is? Really? You're going to have Willie Colley Stein take it up? Oh, I almost feel bad for them. No, I don't. Are you kidding me? Well, Westbrook misses, but Andre... Ah, oh, Andre Robertson misses, too. I was expecting Robertson... No, oh, they'll finally get a point. So, after a 12-0 run, the Kings are finally able to get one on the... Or, finally able to get one basket. And Mello for three, it goes in, and it's a 15-2 run right now for OKC. But they could potentially only allow two baskets the entire first quarter. That one's passed into Russ, and Westbrook, he's just going to drive to Snow. Pass that out. Paul George for three. Let's do this. 18-4 to run. First quarter almost over. 
I don't know why the Kings just aren't performing this quarter, but they're not. And I don't know what. I don't. Who was that? Was that Paul George? I don't know whoever what whoever that was was doing on defense, but not what doing what they were supposed to. Russ, get back! What are you doing? Oh, if he if Russ had just put his hand up. Any day now. It's the only time you're wasting is your own. The shot no good. And the basket no good. So fourteen point lead for the Thunder here at the end of the first and oh wow. Second underway, just like that. Let's do this. Uh-oh. You're not going to shoot over Steven Adams and make it. All right, Andre Robertson. Give that to Steven Adams. That's out to Melo, to Russ, to Robertson. Melo Anthony can't hit. Steven Adams, the rebound. And one. Let's go. Nice. Thunder. May lead by 17 if Adams can hit this. Only 53% from the line in this one. And he can't hit. So a 16 point lead for OKC. Oh, he just drove past Andre Robertson. Steven Adams. No. Wow. Well. Right. Russ is going to take it, drive in. Carmelo Anthony for three. Are you kidding me? Mello, you're garbage. I don't want to see you wearing that Thunder jersey anymore. Uh, okay. Shooting foul called on Steven Adams. So. Alright, let's do the Zach Randolph. Makes the first one, and the second one, so Randolph hits both, and it's an 11-point lead. Russell Westbrook, okay, well, he may have gotten stuffed, but my excuse is he was spinning. He was spinning when he was shooting, so that's, hard, that's a hard shot to make, though. The first quarter went incredibly well for OKC. The second quarter, not going very well at all for them. Paul George for three. It drops. And back to an 11-point lead. No. Yeah. I was about to say, if that went in, I would have been very mad. Let's see if Paul George is going to have another one of his games. So he is guarded by Willie Cauley-Stein. So he's not going to be able to shoot a three over Stein. But, I mean, dunking it, that works with me. That works for me. And stolen by Russ. And the dunk. No. I almost, I almost said 25-point lead. It's only a 15-point lead. And no good. Paul George the rebound. Three, two, okay. I need to fix my chair. Okay, yeah. Give that to Steven Adams. And the basket good from Adams. Timeout called. It's almost a 20 point game. Zach Randolph calls the timeout. We are almost to halftime in this one. Steven Adams viciously stuffs Mr. What's-His-Name over there. Alright, find someone open on the perimeter who knows how to shoot. Can we see if we can get Steven Adams to go in and Melo to go to, out to the perimeter? Alright, give that to Carmelo Anthony back to Paul George. Time running out. 
on the shot clock. Adams has to put one up, and he does. 19-point lead. Oh, Russ, he just went flying. Steven Adams stole it! Steven Adams steals it and dunks it! Steven Adams is the GOAT! Oh, no. That was bad. Uh, well, alright. 21-point lead. I'm, I'm not mad at that at all. Oh, uh, I think, yep, they're gonna... Give Adams his second shooting foul of the game, and Mr. Brandon Jennings is going to go to the free throw line. He hits his first 20-point lead for OKC, and his second 19-point lead. Alright, pass back to Mello from Russ and Carmelo Anthony. 21 point game, knocking Willie Cauley Stein down with that dunk. Uh oh, that didn't work. Can somebody please, like, at least try? Thank you, Steven. Alright. I was going to try and wait, but then I thought Russ could easily make that. Buzzer beater no good from Robertson. I should have taken it with Russ. I still can't believe Steven Adams got that steal. I, really? I mean, to be fair, he was playing out of position, so... I mean, he did something good even though he was doing something bad. Ooh, that one drops. 19-point game. Nope, nope, that's bad. I'm, I'm, next time, I'm just going to call for a bounce pass. Oh, I didn't get to see Russ's stats. I think that says he has 11 points on the game. Paul George the steal. Easy three-pointer. For Paul George, and it's a 22-point game. I think it's fair to say that the Thunder are probably going to win by at least at least 20. Okay, pass out to... Well, that's, that's just good ball movement, and then a bad shot. That was great ball movement from the, from the Kings. Paul George for three, he hits it. And things are getting out of hand for... The Kings, I'm bad at math, so I don't know how much the Thunder are winning by now, but I think it might be 25, thinking about what they were winning by, uh, it's 23, so it was 25. I'm a math wizard. Oh, I thought Robertson, he, he might be a bad free throw, or uh, three-point shooter, but he should be making that. 26 point lead. That shot doesn't fall. Russ the rebound pass to Adams. George actually can't hit there. That was a very strange pass from Willie Cauley Stein to Brandon Jennings, stolen by Paul George. You know what? No. Did he already dribble? I didn't notice. No, I don't want to give it back to Mello. Give that to Russ. Okay, I actually didn't expect that one to fall. 29 point game. The Thunder. Their current season record of the most points they've won by in a game is 31. And they can take a 31 point lead if Paul George hits a layup here or a dunk 31 point game right now and I mean looks like the Thunder have already won this one. Oh, Russ should have just gone in for the dunk okay back to a 29 point game Let's just slow this down. 
I didn't want to pass it completely across the court. No, I'm not giving it back to you, Andre. You almost blew that. Ah, oh, Mello can't hit there. Stolen by Paul George. Into Steven Adams. Steven Adams puts up the layup. And once again, 31-point game. 10-2 run right now for OKC. And looks like they will make it a 13-2 run. No. No, no, give that. Thank you. Paul George makes it a 13-2 run. He has 19 on the game. And, uh, yeah, things are looking pretty good for OKC. Okay. Yeah, just drive by. Give it to Mello, who was left open for three. It is good. This is... This is... This is sad. <clears throat> Basket made 25 points. Oh, Mello can't hit for three. I think he may have said 25. It's a 35-point lead for OKC. Here we go, starting in the fourth, and they get to start with the ball. Alright, that's Mello's hot spot. That's why I stopped there. Paul George can't hit it for three. Okay. No, no, no. Andre Rock. Wow, that was a good pass from Brandon Jennings. Gotta give it to him. Yep, good coverage from Russ. Rebound from George. Carmelo Anthony dunks over number 24 on the Kings. Don't know who that is. Really don't particularly care. This guy. Dunked over him. Alright. Who is that? I can't tell. And that was hit away by Steven Adams. And once again, Carmelo Anthony. This is a 39-point game. Oh, that was hit away. I didn't expect it to get hit away. That's why I didn't try and grab it. Because, well, I didn't notice it got hit away until, like, the last second. That could also be a reason. Oh, I didn't. I thought Paul George was in the corner and I couldn't see him. I can't find anyone open. Paul George, can he drive in? I guess so. I mean, okay. I didn't know if that one would go in or not. 21 on the game for George. And it's a 41 point lead for OKC. Oh, uh, Russ hit that away, but he didn't. He didn't pick up the ball, so he started running down the court and then he realized he didn't have the ball. <clears throat> Willie Cauley-Stein can't hit. Time running down on the game. Paul George can't hit for three. He can't hit again. Kings grab the rebound. Paul George is easily the best three-point shooter on this team. Oh! Makes a basket. Surprising. It's not surprising how much money... He You'd save by switching to Geico. Okay, I didn't expect that to go in. It came closer than I thought it would, though. Yeah, steal that, Steven. Oh, they're going to call him for his third foul of the game. His 12 points and three fouls, so. Well, that was embarrassing for Steven Adams. But he'll pretend like he's the reason that shot didn't go in, and... All will be fine. Paul, no, that's not Paul George. Carmelo Anthony for 342-point game. 
He has 10 points in the second half, and um, he's a big, him and Paul George and Russell Westbrook, the big three, the reason why things are going so smoothly for OKC right now. Mello can't hit that one. So it's a 40-point lead for OKC, less than a minute left. This game is not over yet. Yeah, it is. Okay, I don't know how he missed that, but I don't really care. Paul George for three. No good. Andre Robertson, the rebound. Puts it up. And it's a 42-point game. Looks like the Thunder, if they're... They'll probably get the final shot. And there we go. Give that to Paul George, who... And he, he can just hold this for all I care because he's the one I'm going to probably take the shot with. <laughs> Buzzer beater from Paul George. So, the Kings don't even hit 30 in this one. And, well, embarrassing for them as they get... Look, they're just... Ugh. How do you not even get 30 in an NBA game? Well, I wouldn't even want the, the King starters to be my backup. Like, they are garbage. Alright, well, the Thunder pick up yet another victory. The next episode will be up against... Uh, is it Boston? No. Yes. I think next episode's again. I think he's at, no, it's against Toronto, and then Boston, and then Miami. Those are the next three episodes. We'll see if OKC can hopefully beat the Hawks here in this one. They beat them by seven. And, uh... The Clippers, if we're that close with the Hawks, I wouldn't be surprised if we lose to them because Clippers are not a bad team. And we do. Thunder lose that one by six. Let's advance one week. We are second in the West at 48-23. and 23. And we are going to week 23 of the season. We are, let's see. We can't be too far from the postseason. We are... Any day now. Um, we are three weeks from the playoffs, so advance a bit further as you can see right here. We are on this game, and this game against Denver, the final one. So, yeah, gonna be interesting. Right now, it's. Oh, we're first. I didn't realize. I was about to say, well, now it's a competition competition between Golden State and OKC for first in the West. And, well, right now the Thunder, I think they're tied with Golden State or a half a game above them. But that will wrap up this episode of the Oklahoma City Thunder franchise. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.